short little film of the uh, what I'm doing with the brakes here. This is the seven-way uh, connector for trailer, and I had a four-way in line. This particular uh, seven-way uses my existing four-way. It's kind of got like a Y adapter, and you can attach it here which is really convenient. So I've got the best of both worlds and I didn't have to wire up for the lights. I only had to run one wire back for the brake controller and that runs underneath the truck inside the frame and surfaces. I got it on the spool now but I had to drill a little hole which you probably can't see, it's down there and it'll go through the firewall might be able to see it inside, might have enough light there. You can just barely see a pinhole there. And uh, I've been wrestling with the uh, getting access to the uh, stoplight switch, uh, which is really hard to get to. It's way up there, but I found, traced the wire down and uh, now I can get to it. And I've got to use the uh, little crush connectors, which I hate them, but it's like the best thing to use in this case. So, there's the brake controller itself and the pigtail that'll plug into it. And that is a self-resetting 30 amp circuit breaker uh, for the hot lead. And you've also got a ground, that's the white, and the um, blue wire goes back to the brakes, which will be the one I just showed you that does uh, in a spool. I'll run that in and connect them. And last, the red wires for the brake lights. So I'm almost done with the wiring. And then I can mount the uh, controller and button it up. So that's pretty much where we're at. So installation's complete. There it is. And I need to, I couldn't find my box of wire ties. I wanna wire tie that up and the wire that runs along the frame at a couple of points, but we can come back and do that later. It's not really in the way of any of the controls at the moment, but it tests out. It's got little LEDs. So everything's hooked up and working. Uh, you really need to plug a trailer into it, which I don't have at the moment, to go any further, recalibrate. It's got a little switch on the side, which is the sensitivity. Uh, right now it's on low sensitive. If you move the switch in the other direction, it'll uh, apply the brakes more aggressively. And a little wheel on top for fine tuning. Uh, I think the scale 0 to 100, it says start at 20. And uh, we'll find more about that later. So, another job complete. The truck is now ready to tow. We've got the, uh, that's the electric brake controller again. And of course we did the mirrors. And the hitch I'd already put on. Oh, it's got little lights back here for it too. I'll have to read the manual and see what they indicate. And also something that I hadn't shown before was I had put an extra leaf spring on. Uh, actually, it looks like two, which should give me, I think, um, the rule of thumb when I was a mechanic was 250 pounds per leaf spring. But I think they rate this one a little bit more. Uh, they're pretty full length and it's also quiet, which most of them are not. They have a little rubber thing there that uh, does the dampening. Otherwise, they would be noisy uh, without a load at each end. They've got the rubber piece. So, there you go. And the only other thing they recommended for uh, towing was heavy-duty shocks. These have been replaced. They're good. I'm not going to bother. So, we're good to go. Ready to tow. So that's about it for today. We'll uh, be back tomorrow to finish some things up, make some more progress. So until then, 
check out our other stuff, subscribe. We've got a bunch of uh, woodworking and gardening videos and a few other things sprinkled in there. Don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you again. Marky Mark extraordinaire!